Hey Tap Brothers here and today we got a really cool move for you. This is a simple uh, free running slash wall flip that you can do pretty much anywhere. You can probably learn this in uh, the next five minutes if you go and find a wall after watching this tutorial. It's a yeah. great one to get started with especially as we get more into free running and doing acrobatic movements. You can also use this move for connecting other moves or using for combinations, which is also a lot of fun to play around with once you get it down. So now we're going to break down the technique for this move and then show you some simple progression steps so you can learn this move quickly. Alright, so first I'm going to show you a demonstration of what this move looks like. Again, this move is very similar to a front walkover or a cartwheel, except instead of planting the hands on the ground, we're planting on the side of the wall. So here's what it's going to look like. Land, and if we want to go into more, we can do that by getting the, the form down. So again, the breakdown of this move is going to be, for the technique is going to be very similar to the front walk over a car wheel, except we're using this wall. So for step one, we're going to start with the placement of the hands and feet for the setup. So we're going to start off, if, you're, uh, if you'd like to go to your left side, which I prefer to go my left side, and that's the one I started with, we're going to have our left hand on the wall and our left foot is going to be planted on the ground for the setup. If you're going the opposite way, it's going to be the opposite. So your inside leg is always going to be planted on the ground at the beginning, and your inside arm is going to be planted on the wall. So we're planting our left leg down on the ground. This is what we're going to use to jump, we're going to be planting our left hand on the wall. The hand that's planted on the wall is going to be right about just above waist height. We're going to have a small bend so that we can lean against the wall to hold ourselves up. Now as we go into it, our right arm is going to be coming from the top and down. Almost like a cartwheel here, except for this hand's here. Our right leg is going to be set up to go up and over. So the first step is going to look like this. The second step is then rotating around. So we're going to do this by really pushing and driving this back leg up and over. Our right leg, or the one on the outside, is going to be the one that lands on the ground first. So we're going to be going here, and this leg's going to be landing first. So the second step is simply just getting that rotation over, swinging that back leg up and over. The third step is coming out and landing. And we're going to do this by, at the end of our setup, so after we rotate around, we're about to plant our foot down on the ground. So we're here. What we're going to do is we're going to open up our hips. So instead of keeping them straight down, we're going to turn out here. So we're going to turn this left leg out, open up the hips so that we can face straight again. And then if we want to go into another one, we can do that again. So it's going to look like this again. Nice setup, planting this hand on the wall, coming straight with this arm, lifting this back leg. Opening up here with the hips, coming out. And another good way to open up is by making sure to keep your chest up. So again, we're going to be using our structure for this whole move. The arms are going to be straight for the one that's playing down. The leg is going to be straight that's going over. And as we lift up, we're going to want to straighten our chest as we come up so that it looks nice and smooth and we can land really nice and strong. One other note is that as I'm going into the move with my head, I'm looking under right here. So I'm actually spotting underneath and then looking up so that it makes the rotation a little bit easier. So I'm here looking. Here, let me, uh, I'll face you actually. So let's say I'm doing the opposite. I'll face you here. So I'm here. Plant the inside leg, and I'm looking up as I'm coming out of the move. So that way it makes it easier to get my chest and hips aligned as I end off the move. All right, so that's the basic technique. Now let me show you some quick progression steps to build into this move. So if you're having trouble, which at the beginning you may have some trouble doing this because it's kind of difficult to get down at first, you can use these little progressions to make it easier to get this move down. So the first thing is just simply doing like a miniature version of what we're doing. So instead of trying to pull this leg all the way over, our outside leg, we're just going to drive it to the side pretty much. So that way there's no risk of falling over. It makes the move a lot easier. So here's what it's going to look like. We're here. 
And we're just going to slowly lift up the legs, this one-two motion. Because as we're doing this move, we're going to have one leg lifting and driving while the other one's coming right after behind it. So we're start off with this simple progression step for the beginning. Here. To, to go to the next progression step, all we're going to do is simply lift this leg instead of going to the side like this, we're going to make it go a little more straight, a little more straight over. So same thing, a little more straight. Until eventually, instead of having an angle, we're going pretty much straight and we're able to get a lot of force and speed into it to where we're here. Now if the wall is freaking you out or you, you just find that difficult to deal with, what you can do is start with the progression step even below that. And that's just your basic cartwheel on the ground. And we can do that by starting real small. You don't even have to go into a full cartwheel yet. You could just kind of do what we were doing before with the wall move, except uh, with the basic cartwheel. So we're here, just going nice and slow, just getting that nice form going, getting used to that, that movement, and then straightening the cartwheel and turning out so that we get used to that move, movement without the wall. And then all we do after that is bring it to the wall by applying a little bit of weight, shifting over a little bit, and using the same form. So that completes this tutorial for this beginner acrobatic slash wall flip move that you can do. Make sure to try this one out. Uh, let us know what you thought about this move in the comments below or what you want to watch next or what move you want to learn next. Uh, if you notice your shirt I got in, Got it from the GMB crew, Gold Metal Bodies. Definitely check out their website and what they got going on. Thanks, Ryan Hurst, for hooking up the shirt. If you're just getting started in parkour, make sure to click the link down in the description because this is going to take you to our five-day parkour training course where people are learning a lot of cool moves. They're learning their parkour world. They're getting their vaults down. A lot of great stuff coming from that, so check it out if you want to get into parkour. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I'm going to finish off by doing, uh, you know, demonstrating some extra stuff you can do once you get this move down. So while you do this, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe!